Hey guys, I am Gautam from IIT Kharagpur and welcome to Chemics. In this video, I am going to talk about one important chapter from you know, organic chemistry that is natural product chemistry. And from this chapter, I will uh, you may face at least three to four marks in IIT exam exam. And the main topics is the chemistry of alkaloids, then steroids, terpenes, carbohydrates, amino acids, peptides, and nucleic acids. So in this video, I will uh, talk about uh, the things what to read. From this chapter from these topics and uh, what you don't actually because uh, alkaloids steroids terpenoids terpenes these topics don't have that much importance in jab examination okay so but carbohydrates amino acids peptides and nucleic acids all these topics are very very important okay so uh, first my suggestion is you can easily ignore the alkaloids steroid and terpenes but if you really want to clear these concepts then just try to study some basic things basic uh, topics and for those topics i will provide you a study material from modison board book okay so if you have that book then no problem you can uh, read up from there and otherwise you can uh, get the book book of course from my blog okay and also if you want the study material then you can check my blog i will also provide uh, over there so now the important topic that uh, that those are carbohydrates amino acids peptides and nucleic acids so from carbohydrates nucleic acids amino acids and peptides uh, actually i will first uh, try to uh, tell you that the important books actually i followed il finner organic chemistry book and from that book i actually uh, got every questions from these chapters okay and uh, for uh, nucleic acids, not the carbohydrate, carboxylic acids, carbohydrates, amino acids, or peptides. Carbohydrate, amino acid, and peptides I got from IL Finner book. But for nucleic acids, I got this uh, very, actually very explained uh, things are there. This that book is Solomon's Organic Chemistry. Book. Okay, so you can buy these two books if you have one of these or both of these books. Then that's good. But if you don't, then you should have um, these books. So you can also buy from this uh, from my blog okay so here i can say that uh, i can also tell you some particular books for these topics um, for example natural product chemistry uh, including the alkaloids steroids or amino acid carbohydrates especially for uh, peptides or protein okay particular books but those books are very ex expensive and actually you in this level you uh, need not to buy those kind of books Okay, so just these two books that is I'll Finner and uh, Solomon actually these books I also I have also uh, uh, Already told you about these books for other topics also. So, okay, so I hope you uh, have those books or otherwise you can Buy from there. Okay, so now Let's talk about different topics that is important topics I will not discuss about alkaloids steroids surfins because you just need to have some basic knowledge of, uh, for these three topics alkaloids steroids and terpenes but carbohydrates, amino acids, peptides, and nucleic acids, these topics are very, very important. And from there, you can say you can easily ignore, even some professors also ignored uh, those uh, alkaloids, steroids, terpenoids topics. Okay, so uh, carbohydrates, amino acids, and peptides, and also uh, nucleic acids, these topics are important. And from these topics, what you need to read, I will elaborate all this. So, first coming to carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, okay. So from carbohydrates, first read all name and structures of aldohexose. 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 What are the aldohexoses? For example, glucose, then mannose, then uh, other kind of aldohexose that is, of course, deglyceraldehydes. All the deglyceraldehydes. Okay. Actually, uh, there is a shortcut to remember all these aldohexoses. Okay. If you want, then I will definitely make a video on this so if you want you can comment below then i will definitely make a video on this to know the shortcut to how to remember the aldohexose and also uh, you need to remember some examples of ketohexose okay so just some examples okay and now i will talk about some reactions about for the aldohexoses and ketohexoses so reactions means oxidation reduction reactions then other kind of reactions okay other uh, type of uh, product formation this kind of reactions of these aldohexoses and ketohexoses okay so for these two books of course i have already said 
आयल फिनर एंड सोलोमन दिस टू बुक्स आर वेरी वेरी गुड ओके सो नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्शन दैट इज हवर्थ एंड फिशर एंड हाउ टू इंटर कन्वर्ट बिटवीन इफ टेक ए एल्ट्रोक्स एंड देन ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट इट टू हावर्ट हावर्थ प्रोजेक्शन फ्रॉम फिशर प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ द सेम एल्ट्रोक्स ओके और अपोजिट वन ओके सो दे मे आस्ट सम क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस ओके सो नेक्स्ट दैट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक इज एपी मनाइजेशन and the important definition of anomer what is anomer and what is epimerization or what uh, what is epimer okay so just know the definitions of these kind of things and you will definitely uh, answer those type of questions from carbohydrates okay so now coming to another topic that is amino acids so from amino acids there are actually total 20 alpha amino acids and you should know about only alpha amino acids not others okay so just remember the formula it's very tough but you have to remember all those things the formula then structure and the abbreviation that is abbrevi what is abbreviation there is if say glycine you have to know the uh, formula uh, formula or structure of the glycine and abbreviation will be g l y so they may ask some questions they may ask some questions on glycine or glycine alanine so they may ask to reform the corresponding peptides gly ala okay so you should just need to know what is gly and what is ala so these are the abbreviations of glycine ala is the abbreviation for alanine okay so next is important topic is primary structure of peptides so what are the primary structures so those are actually important so primary structures looks like this say this is a amino acid i am just giving here r so i am not considering any amino acid i am just considering common example and say another amino acid which is r prime actually both are alpha amino acids so you have to write them in a sit in such a way that the c double is grouped towards the uh, looks to uh, look at the look towards the right and n is to towards the left here also same is true so if if say say it's one amino acid and this is another amino acid so if we form the peptide then what we get this o is and in one hydrogen of n is to will form this kind of bond c this is co then one uh, hydrogen you have to ignore then n is then this is r prime this is c double i here also this is r and this is n is 2 so this is this will be the peptide it may be very long chain of peptide there uh, in that case you may uh, uh, you may get some example for uh, fly ala then phenyl alanine okay okay this kind of examples just so how they form the primary structure of peptide that's are uh, very important okay so next the c and n that is carbon and nitrogen c and n terminal determination how to determine the carbon and nitrogen because on in case of amino acids one terminal is c double is carboxylate carboxylic acid that is of course the carbon and another is amine that is n is 2 so c and n terminal both are uh, in the corresponding terminal okay so how to determine this terminal position or terminal amino acids which kind of amino acids are present in the right or left terminal okay so you just need to determine this kind of things then coming to very very important topic that is isoelectronic point just let me clear the board and it is isoelectronic point it says the ph at which the amino acids looks like neutral so its formula that is pk1 plus pk2 by 2 it is the formula and for that actually it's denoted by phi isoelectronic point at ph so even they may ask to calculate the ph 
okay they will give provide you the pk1 k1 and k2 value or pk1 or pk2 value then you just need to apply this formula and from there you can you easily can calculate the isoelectric point of some uh, amino acids okay they may ask sometimes questions like the order of the isoelectric point or phi okay so they will provide some other some uh, two or more than three uh, amino acids and from there if they may just uh, try to uh, they may ask questions like uh, what which systems will have the uh, isoelectronic point which systems will have the highest isoelectronic point okay so this type of questions you may face regarding isoelectronic point and the last topic from amino acids and peptides is separation of amino acids this topic is actually very uh, important but i i don't think that they will ask some questions from there here because there are a lot of reasons present uh, you have to apply all those reasons and those are uh, very time consuming and for this you can easy, easily ignore the separation method but if you don't want to miss any questions then just be careful and you should read that topic also and last coming to nucleic acid this is quite easy because you have already read this in 11 or 12 standard biology uh, biology books okay biology classes so from here you just need to study about dna rna their bases and here it's chemistry so the uh, formula of the bases the structure of those bases and also the five prime three prime you, you know about this kind of things they are bonding then hydrogen bonding how hydrogen bonding uh, present in dna or rna structure okay and for that i will suggest you the book by solomon like once again this book is very very good and i also followed these books for nucleic acids okay so only two books i will finish and solomon these two books are enough for this topic so if you want to buy then you can go to my blog and from there you can easily buy because i am forced no i am not forcing you to go to uh, go to my blog and buy from there but if you want if you want to buy then buy from my blog then i will get some commission and that will help me a lot in my study okay so that's all about these things and if you want i make videos on other topics also so you can comment below and you can suggest me your topics uh, on which i should make videos and if you have any queries then you also can join my facebook group so you will get the link in the description below okay so check over there and you can ask your queries over uh, over there on my facebook group okay and me or any of your youtube uh, friends will help you to get up get out of uh, your problem Okay, so thank you. Thanks for watching.